Hello, I'm Dr. Jim Anderson. Let's talk about three ways to prepare for your next negotiation. Now, I hope that we can all agree that if you want your next negotiation to turn out the way that you want it to, you're going to have to prepare for it. Now, that's easy to say, okay? But as we all know, it's actually fairly hard to do. It turns out that the key to successfully preparing for a negotiation is that we have to ask the right questions. In order to do that, we need to know what questions to ask. What do I want from this negotiation? The first question that we need to ask ourselves will require that we set an ambitious but realistic target. When setting this target, there's three traps that we need to watch out for. First, avoid being one of those under-aspiring negotiators who sets a target that's too low. If you do, you may end up feeling like the victim of the winner's curse, which describes the disappointment that we feel when the other side immediately accepts our first offer in the negotiation. The fact that the other side is eager to accept your first offer suggests that you aimed too low and failed to engage in adequate negotiation preparation. At the same time, you don't want to be an over-aspiring negotiator either. When you aim too high, and the other side refuses to make significant concessions, you're going to be left without a deal, no matter how good your negotiation styles and negotiating techniques are. A third problem arises when you engage in so little negotiation preparation that you don't know what you want. In this case, negotiators often view the other party's good faith proposals with suspicion or even disappointment. Determine what your alternative to reaching an agreement is. Let's face it, we're not always going to be able to reach an agreement with the other side of the table during a negotiation. To improve your odds of meeting a realistic but ambitious target, you're going to need to determine what your best alternative to a negotiated agreement, or BATNA, is. Determining your BATNA will help you to know when it's time to walk away and pursue your best alternative. What you need to understand is that a BATNA assessment involves the following three steps you're going to want to identify all the plausible alternatives that you might pursue if you can't reach a deal with the current party. You're gonna to wanna to estimate the value associated with each alternative. Finally, you're gonna to wanna to select the best alternative, which is your BATNA. For somebody who is looking for a job and is engaged in negotiation preparation, for a particular hiring negotiation. The first step would involve identifying their other possible job opportunities, as well as other alternatives, such as staying at their current job or applying to graduate school. The second step would involve evaluating the monetary and non-monetary value of each alternative, including likely salary, benefits, responsibilities, engagement with one's work, quality of life, and so on. This type of analysis should lead the person who is looking for a new job to identify the alternatives that they prefer. Determine what your reservation value is. Once the work that you've done to prepare for the negotiation has helped you to identify your BATNA, you're in a position to calculate your reservation value, also known as a reservation price, which is your walk away point in the upcoming negotiation. In a price negotiation, 
this might be a particular number in an integrative negotiation where multiple issues are at stake, your reservation value might be expressed as a package, such as the lowest salary, benefits, and responsibilities that you'd accept to take a certain job. Your knowledge of your reservation value will help you avoid two mistakes. Number one, accepting a deal that's worse than your BATNA. And number two, rejecting a deal that's better than your BATNA. Assess the other side's BATNA. It turns out that when you're engaging in negotiation preparation, it's not good enough to only look at your only own needs and wants. To improve your odds of a mutually beneficial deal, you also need to figure out how much the other side may be willing to give. To do this, you need to analyze their BATNA. Ask yourself, what will they do if our negotiation ends in an imp impasse? This will lead you to contemplate the other side's reservation value. As an example of this, a job seeker might conclude that the hiring organization is likely to have other qualified candidates waiting to take the job for a relatively low salary. If so, the job seeker might recognize that he won't be able to push the hiring manager very far in a salary negotiation. Conversely, a job seeker might be aware that they are one of the only appealing candidates for an open position in which case they may be able to drive a tough bargain. What all of this means for you. Getting the best deal out of your next principal negotiation is going to require a great deal of work on your part. This work is gonna start with preparing for the negotiation. In order to do a good job of preparing for a negotiation, you're going to have to make sure that you have the answers to the most important questions. This means that you're going to have to know what those questions are. A critical question that you need to answer is to determine what you want to get out of the negotiation that you're participating in. You're going to have to set a goal for this negotiation, and you're going to have to make sure that it's not too high and not too low. Not every negotiation turns out the way that we want it to. And so going in, you're gonna have to have a clear eye view of what your BATNA is. Knowing this will allow you to know when it's time to walk away. In addition to your BATNA, you're also gonna to wanna to know what your reservation value is. This will tell you the lowest acceptable value that you're willing to take. After you've evaluated all of this for your side, you still have to determine the other side's BATNA. Knowing this will allow you to have a better chance of getting the deal that you want. Negotiation preparation needs to be conducted with a clear-eyed view of the playing field. The more rational and methodical your negotiation preparation process is, the better your negotiation results are gonna be. Good luck.